Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to RambleCraft. Guys, today we are having fun with a villager breeder. I hope you all enjoy. Alright guys, so we've done quite a bit of changing around of this thing. Um, yeah, this, uh, this trading hall is going to look very different. I went ahead and added on these features on the outside. It makes it look a lot better from the surface there. And, uh, yeah, this area back here, the the outer walls are very close to being done. I may do a couple more of these uh, kind of blackstone stripes going across the top. Um, but I really I really do like them. So, and then I also brought the, the blackstone bricks down here. I was going over, like, I had Waylo from, like, modded Minecraft to see the blackstone. I don't have it. Uh, and then this is where our villager breeder is going to be. We're going to have the farmer method. We'll have the, the bedroom on the back over here, you know, where the, the villagers will fall over and then they'll go, oh no, and they'll fall and then they go down here. And then down below here, we'll have our villager holding cell. So it'll be about half, like it's not going to be a, a circle or like directly half of it, but we're going to have this little room where all of our villagers are. And then over here, we'll have our zombie converting room um, so that we can drop their prices. You know, we'll, we'll give them a, uh, a trade with the or not a trade but we'll, we'll give them a, a workstation and then we'll also convert them to a zombie right there as well uh so the cool thing is that um yeah we are expanding this again we're going to have four different paths going out here where all of our villagers are going to be uh on your screen right now you should see some kind of interesting blueprints um this is what our villager trading hall is going to look like uh, as you can see top left we have our librarians and cartographers now uh, up in the top right we have our masons farmers and fletchers uh, bottom left we have our armorers weaponsmiths and toolsmiths and then in the bottom right we have our clerics and fishermen and leather workers as well uh, and then if you look between the two uh, bigger you know the big sections uh, top and the bottom uh, we do have our shepherds and butchers that is all of the villager trades um, in the game so we'll have access to all of them and then each of those little sections will be two levels tall and so if you look over here, uh, we're going to center it here, uh, and then uh, it's going to be on this level, and then on this level, we're going to have the villager trades, and it'll go there. And then we're also going to have little glass domes going out on each one. So like when you're in the villager trading hall, you'll be able to look up, and you'll see uh, the, you know, the ocean. You can see like some ocean life, and then you'll see the water above. I just I really like the look of that, kind of like almost a fishbowl, um, but it's cool because you know, the base is underwater, so we're going to you, you know, take full advantage of that. All right, so this is how the base looks from up in the sky. As you can see, this really does look cool. We're going to put more blackstone uh, into the base to, you know, make that blend in a bit more. Um, but, yeah, it really took it from, you know, being really difficult to see um, a little bit ago and made it really awesome. But before we go ahead and put our villagers in here and, you know, do all that, uh, we do have open access to the sky now. So that does mean we do run the risk of having lightning strike and turning our villagers into witches, which is irreversible. So we are definitely not going to be worrying about that. We're going to do... We're going to go a little overkill and have two lightning rods. Are those even in the same spot? They are not. Is this circle even even? Have I really screwed up here? Oh, no, they're even. What am I talking about? Okay. Yeah, they're in the right spot. But, yeah, those will grab the lightning, you know, and they'll make it strike that instead. We might end up raising those up. But I am going to do a border of uh, maybe some prismarine bricks and some sea lanterns. So maybe we can make those look pretty cool. Uh, not too sure. Maybe we can make it kind of, like, transition into the, the copper. Um, yeah, we could use, you know, aging copper to, you know, make the transition into that and then have, like, right below that block be like normal copper i think that could look cool but now that we have those in line and our villagers aren't going to be uh, turned into witches and make us sad we can go ahead and start building the perimeter wall um, that will hold in our villagers now we're going to go all the way around just because it's going to look it's the you know easier i will go ahead and mine out some of the glass blocks in a little bit We're gonna we're gonna leave at this point. Okay, so it doesn't look half bad here. I do wish we could have it underneath somehow. Um, 
You know, we could, but then it'd be floating, and I don't want that. But that looks that looks pretty good. Let's see how it looks from the other side over here. That doesn't look half bad at all. You know, it's a villager breeder. It's not supposed to look super duper spiffy, but we can definitely try. Nothing saying we can't. All right, and then... Um, oh, shoot. I shouldn't have flown back. Oh, that's smacked. Ow! I'm about to kill myself on <laughs> these rockets. So we need to get some stairs. And I think we're just going to stick, you know, with our prismarine boy here for some stairs. We don't need that many. But we are going to have four. Um, four water sources. And we'll use the hoe. But where? Yes, here's some wood. Uh, I believe the composter is all slabs, right? Is there one? Nope, it's all slabs. Okay. I thought there, were, I thought there might have been one solid block down at the bottom. But there is not. Perfect. There's the four, and then we do have our sea lanterns. Perfect. So this thing's going to be super well lit in here. Um, and then where these torches are will be the stairs. And I know we are definitely over-hydrating this, uh, which is totally okay. Now, can you have... I forget. Can you have more than one... Like, if we do this, will it break it? Because both of the villagers will have... Let me look that up. Give me one second. Okay, so there's no rules specifically stating that if that if we have two farmers in here that you know it won't work, but we'll definitely try to I believe farmers do throw food at each other. So I think we'll be able to to get away with that. I don't really get away with it, but I don't think it'll affect it. And plus it looks symmetrical. Yeah, you can totally see it from here cuz the old villager breeder is totally blocking everything in our way. Um, so I do need some water sources here. Uh, do I have any more buckets? I might have to craft some more buckets. I'm always crafting buckets. Oh, there's two more. I just need one more bucket. Can we get one more? We do not. I'm so sorry. My inventory, my chests are so terrible. They are so bad. Don't judge, please. I, I, I try. I actually don't try. Butcher always yells at me for my lack of chest storage. Blame him. He didn't, he didn't teach me well enough. A dolphin. Okay. So we're back. We're back here. This, As you can tell, this thing is very, very, very well lit. Like, it would be well lit just from these alone. But we have these going up here. So we might do something a little different when it comes to these guys. I might change this up a little bit off camera. But I do like the three blocks here, tall. Um, and then we'll do something cool up here eventually. But yes, uh, that's the back. So that's where the baby villagers will try to escape to. Uh, and then we'll drop them down and be like, ha-ha, and then they'll fall. And then we'll collect them. But yes, I digress. Sorry. We don't need these here anymore. All right. So water. Water. It's a big lag spike. I put that water in. Okay. So we got the water in there. Now we can go ahead and put the composter on top of those. And then if it does end up affecting, you know, if we have two farmers in here and they can't, they're like not throwing food to each other, we'll just go ahead and put like one in here and then we'll turn these into like just wooden planks. So that will be good. Maybe, you know, I'm not even going to risk it. Let's just do it now because I do know that it works like that. Or I do know that it works something like that. We might switch these out for a different color later. But there we go. So those are blocked off and now we can take our diamond hoe and we can convert all of this into farmland and so the cool thing is we do have a skeleton farm you know that we set up so i can go ahead and get a bunch of bone meal i can bone meal up some carrots you know with our micro farm i don't think i showed you guys that that's just a really simple micro farm but then i can get a bunch of carrots plant all of these and then we can move our villagers into this and they can start the breeding process um, so yeah, that, this part is, uh, just about done for the villager breeder, and then we just need to make a spot for the, um, the beds that the villagers are going to try to populate, you know? So, let's see, oh, I did miss a little bit over here. Alright, so now we have the farmland there, which is great. Um, and then, yes. So this here, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and remove that. And then I don't have any of the deep slate on me anymore. 
we do need some of that. And I don't think I even have any wool either. So I do need to get enough for three beds. And we are going to make them cyan beds because that just seems to be the right thing to do, you know? Alrighty, so we are back in action. I'm just going to fill these in. For now, this is where the villagers will fall down. Um, and so, like, we could put two beds here very comfortably. However... I do think we need to expand it out, and we're going to make it symmetrical, so, uh, yeah, so, let's see, so this block, these two will be where the trap doors are, and then we want one block at the back here, and then, oh, we do need to make four beds, hmm. Yeah, so that's that's enough beds for what we need, uh, but we do need to make a fourth one, and then we're going to bring these up to match. Uh, yeah, I almost wonder if we should just get rid of this one for looks. Uh, not that one. Sorry, we'll do this one, okay. And with the extra beds here, the villagers will try to breed to fill up all of these beds. Um, and so that's what happens. The, the baby will run to the beds, and then instead of getting to the beds, it'll fall down there, thinking that the trap doors are solid blocks. And then we'll be able to separate them, and then the, the villagers keep going. They're like, fill it up, fill it up. And we're like, just kidding, just kidding. Okay, so that should be enough of the... So that is looking really cool. We might actually just make this a dome. That could look as cool as well. Uh, it's a little overkill, but you know, who cares? Okay. All right, so here we go. We have the, the trap doors here, like so. Um, yep, those will be lowered so that the villagers think they can you know, walk on them and get to the beds. Uh, and then we'll have the bed here. So everything is symmetrical here. All we need to do now is get the villagers in here so that they sleep. Uh, and then once they sleep, they will go ahead and start uh, party rocking. So what we're going to do is something perfect. Now we can see the hitboxes so we don't accidentally hit them. That one's done. That one's done. All right, so we got a villager there. Okay, so yeah, that is set up. I might... Yeah, I think I'm going to make this. That way, like, I don't know. I feel like that that's good. If that's not good, let me know. Okay, time for the carrots. So they're already throwing them back and forth. That's good. They have access to the beds. That's good. We just, oh, we just need it to be nighttime. That'd be crazy if it worked already. Oh my gosh. Well, um, I was not expecting it to work so well. Ouch, ouch, ouch. We need to make a containment center. So they are going to take a little bit of fall damage just temporarily, which is okay. But as you can see, the villager breeder is in fact working. However, that guy, that little guy, isn't doing that. I think at nighttime they will try. Oh, yes, I do. Hmm. I think if I just get two of the trap doors, we can fix that. Remember we had two extra? Yes. Okay. So yeah, we'll use these to our advantage here. I'm gonna kind of revamp. I've completely missed. Oh boy, more rocket. Rockets are still very scarce on our server, which we will, we should be able to resolve that. Okay, whoops. Do 
save that for you. Okay, so if we do this, villagers will not... Oh, come on, guy. Yeah, villagers will not be able to walk here. So if I push this guy... Yeah, see how he's bouncing off? Yeah, so only baby villagers will be able to get out through there. Uh, and then once it becomes nighttime, then he will try to pathfind to these beds, and he will not be able to, unless he's going to go do it now. He's going to do it now! Ha-ha! We have him. You're in our breeder. Don't don't push me in. Gosh dang. I'm not trying to be a baby. Okay, so it looks like they are trying to get to the beds, which is all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to click this one. I want them to sleep in the beds. I can get through here just fine. Okay. Yeah, so they'll sleep in the beds, which is good. And then I'll sleep in my own bed over here. Whoa. <clears throat> and then these guys should go back into the center. Might have to do some persuasion. Persuasion, come on. Get out of here. You've looked into each other's eyes long enough. Hmm. How do I bait them out over here? I got one. Second one should follow. Yes. Okay, so they slept in the beds. Perfect. We got our baby villager down there. All right, the villager breeder is up and working. We just need that guy to start throwing more um, more carrots at this dude. But the breeder is up and working. I'm excited. That is good, which means we can tear down the establishment. No, I'm just kidding. We can tear down this thing, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, so we're going to need to go in into the thick of it. So we just go like this. Perfect. I think I'll just try to catch these guys in some rails. Unless they fall down. Then they're kind of free. Ha! Can't do it now. Sucker. <laughs> I just like threw up. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Okay, so we got one, which is good. Now we just need to get the other one. Hey, we got our villagers in mine cards. That was going to be, like, probably the hardest part, but we did that pretty easily. I don't think mobs, like, going over, um, like, walking over rails. So we did use that to our advantage there, which is great. We already got the villager breeder up and working. Uh, just got to work on the zombie purification system here. But I'm going to tear all of this down so we have a clean line of sight to the villager breeder from the front area. Uh, so I'll do that, and we'll be back after it's all gone. Alrighty, so I went ahead and cleared that out over here, and then I did do a little bit of progress, uh, just testing some stuff out. Uh, I do have a temporary method. I think we're going to do this just to you know, keep it even, but we do need to have a uh, zombie uh, trading station here, like trading and lowering trades and all that. Uh, yeah, so these guys here, uh, they're all our villagers. They've been bouncing around. I did have a couple babies sneak out, and they ended up dying to unforeseen causes. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so this is what we got here. We just have a dispenser with a, uh, a rail, you know, slanted here. We had to, we had to put a, um, 
a normal rail up here connected up and then you could break it and put the glass here so that's why it's like this and when it's like this it will go ahead and push the guy out that's how we got him out and then we also need to have uh that there we can put glass here but it does look a little wonky um and i probably just will leave it off like this but yes we have the villagers coming out here uh now there's water in there so it's pushing them into this corner and that's how we're able to get them through the wall so super duper simple setup here uh, i do have a hopper going from here into this so we load up our our mine carts here and it will automatically uh do this for us uh, so that means i can break this block here and we're just going to temporarily put it there uh we'll we'll probably get some cool way of doing that uh later on po possibly with uh this block here or for it we'll put the button there just like a redstone dust uh, or something like that might work pretty cool but yes we have the villagers out we do need to get a zombie and i have been checking some of this and I don't really know the best way to do this. I want it to look good, which is the, the big priority. Um, so yeah, that's been tricky, figuring that out. Okay, so I think we're gonna go ahead and drop the villagers down here. Let me just make a, a way out for myself here real quick. We can put that back, no problem. Uh, but yeah, so we, were, we have the villagers. Um, yeah, and down there's where they get converted, but they'll need to have a trade first. Um, can't. Okay, so I actually think I might have done this one block too far forward here. I like how uh, I, I use the, the stone here as basically a... Um, a template for what we'll be building later on okay so we're here um he we're gonna put a powered rail right here and i want to see can you get a profession while you're still in the mine cart i don't know if they're able to do that do what do we have here for it i could just grab one from down here uh, that we're not using. Oop, come on. Come on, game. Okay. So if I put this lectern by you. Are you able to grab it? <gasps> they can. Yeah, he saw me murder a child. So that's probably why he's a little salty. Um, so yeah, can I cycle through? Perfect. Okay, so then what happens is he goes here, gets on that rail, and then what we're going to do is, because he gets stuck on this rail, we can put a piston down below. Um, I need to power... Well, I guess we could always just like push him off of it after he's gone. We don't have to have that power. To just We need him to stop there so that he can cycle some trades. And then we lock it in with the paper. Um, yeah. Uh, 64 emeralds. Yeah, he's really mad at me. But we can fix that. Oh, we got mending. Um, <laughs> we, we should lock that in. We can get a really low mending trade if we get this to work right. Okay. So let's grab we need a lot of paper. Well, we already have a mending villager. I guess we don't really need to lock it in. Uh, but then after that... Uh, yeah, we need to bring him down low, where he will meet his friend, the zombie. So yeah, we can have this one be the first descent, second descent, third descent. Okay. Yeah, so it, it's a little manual in that, um, it's a little manual because... A second. Okay. Yeah, and so the zombie will be here. And so the villager will stop, the zombie will kill it, and then we can power it away. Hang on, this needs to be raised up a block. Sorry, I'm just thinking on the go. I want you guys to be involved in this process, so in case you guys want to do this, you can. Okay, so this is where the powered rail will be. It connects here, and those connect. So the zombie, the villager will stop here. The zombie will kill it. Zombie will be here, kill it, 
And then afterward, we hit a button after it's done, and the villager is out here. We can move it into its cell. Okay. So we do have enough paper to lock it in. Um, okay, so he will forever be a librarian. You can get a new one of those, which is good. And then we need to get a zombie here. Uh, we'll probably put the zombie on a half slab so he's better aligned with the villager when he's on the slope. Uh, but let's test it out. Okay, so we push this guy off. He's done. He slides over. Bam, he stays there. And then we put a zombie on a half slab here, and then he turns him into a villager, and we are good to go. So we will have to wait until nighttime to grab a zombie, and then we'll see if he can hold. We're probably going to give him, I was thinking, a stone sword so he can kill the, the villagers a little quicker. Whichever one can do that, we'll, we'll keep the item, and then we can name tag him later on, and we'll lure him in. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to grab some items here, some glass. We have the trap doors. Okay. Okay, so I think this is what we're going to do. Remember, this is really temporary, like the block style anyway. So we lure a zombie into here. He stands on that half slab, so he's here. He should be able to see the villager and hit him, but... You know, he's trapped in here by this. He won't be able to jump out. I don't think I can even jump out, which is awesome. Uh, so we can have the villager there. And yeah, so he'll get converted. And then we'll do it a couple times. And then once he's down to like one a, one emerald and a book for like mending, then we'll go ahead and send him on his way. Uh, but then we'll also have other guys that trade bookshelves. Uh, so we'll be able to you know, really be uh, efficient with this. So let's get him up here again. Perfect. He's there. Like we'll just again push him. Doesn't have to be super complicated in this regard. Um, and then we can put glass over the top here. Let me just get some cyan glass so we we can make it look uniform. Okay. So with the glass in place here, and I do want these guys. This will probably like I'll probably shave this off, and then we'll make this like a straight wall where the villagers will be. Uh, but yeah, so that is looking very good. Uh, and then we can just lure in the zombie like this. He'll fall and he'll die. Not die, he'll be there forever. Um, yeah. Actually, if I do this, he shouldn't be able to hit me. He'll fall. He'll try to... He'll think this is a full block and he'll try to walk up and jump. So he should just straight up fall there. Um, but what I can do is so that he pathfinds to me 100%. Yeah. Okay. Now the tricky part in getting a zombie. So I do need to wait until it is nighttime. Looks like we are getting close though. Um, so I'll break... I'll break these here, these torches, so we can get one to spawn in, and we'll have some fun. Okay, we finally got a zombie, but will he pick up a sword? Uh. Come on, pick it up. Oh, he did! He picked it up! Oh my gosh, this is the dude! This is the guy! Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully he stays uh, uh. aggroed on me. Okay. This is awesome. We actually got it. Wow. First zombie. Okay, stay aggro on me. I'm going to pop him a little bit, so maybe he's just going to stay mad and just hit him with a piece of glass. But he picked up an item, so he will never despawn, theoretically. Theoretically. Okay. Yes! We got him! Frick yeah, dude. Nice, he's in.
Okay, and we are underneath the farm, so there's no chance of any sunlight hitting him, so he'll never die. However, I will go ahead and we will put a little bit of light down here. Um, let's have a look. Where do we want to put the light? Um, you know, for now, we'll just, you know, put something like that here. But let's, uh, we're going to test out the villager. So we do have a mending villager. So even though this guy does have mending, like, if we lose him, it's not the end of the world. Um, so let's see if we do this. Is he still in the cart? He is. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it worked, it worked, I hardly even tried it, it worked, okay, so he'll never despawn, oh, which is good, neither will this guy, however, I do want to name tag him, um, do I have any on him, oh, I can also put the torches back here, uh, let's do that before we forget and come back and have a bunch of zombies that, you know, now that we need, don't need them to spawn, they spawn everywhere. Yeah, they're both there. If I come back and they're gone, I'm going to rage quit. Because they're both holding items. And we did trade with that one guy. So he he should not re or despawn. Could also give him some flashy armor too. Wonder is it my valuables? Yes, okay. So we do have some here. One, two, three, four. Uh, looks like we're gonna need to do that. He should still be there, both of them. They have to be there, otherwise game mechanics are broken. Oh, thank goodness, he's still there. All right, so, um, yeah. We're gonna name this guy, uh, uh, Boo! Exclamation point, this'll be our guy. He's the guy. Do I have I do have glass? Perfect. Boo. Boo. So now he'll never despawn. Amazing. So we have Boo down there. We're good. We will always have Boo down there unless someone goes in there and kills him. But yeah, we should be good. Uh, and then the other thing too is when we when we do have him down enough, we should be able to activate that, and this guy comes over. Yes! Amazing. So now he's out of the way. Boo is not going to despawn. This guy's not going to despawn because he's got the glass block. Amazing. And then we can pretty this up, uh, make it look, you know, a lot better. Oh, man. This turned out really good. He can never get out of there. I am so proud of the design I've come up with. Yeah. All righty. So we're going to go ahead and create our potions now. Uh, let me see here, I believe. Yeah, it's just water and a fermented spider eye that goes in. All right, so we've got four, and I believe we should be able to go like this and start brewing it up. I don't think we need to make this an awkward potion first, if I'm correct. Perfect. Okay. So we have potions of weakness here. We just need one fermented spider eye. And we do need a gunpowder. Okay.
Okay, guys, so somehow the past two clips switched to a scene that didn't have my uh, screen on it. Uh, but yeah, we tested it out. Uh, I do have one more op or time I can show you guys here, but we did lower this guy's trade down. So he's at 12 paper and one book here. He was at 18 before. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to push him back onto the rail, back over to the, the zombie here. Um, maybe go a little higher. Yep, there we go. And the zombie will go ahead and turn him back into a zombie villager. And then we hit him with a splash potion. And then we go shabang. And then he starts shaking. And we give him a death stare until he turns into a villager. All right, so we have this villager now. Again, six pieces of paper for one emerald. That is crazy. We just got eight emeralds from that. We bring back one book. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So here's our other mending villager. And just as you see, uh, we do have the ability to, to you know, lower his trades as well. Um, and then we'll be able to just get a whole lot of mending books, which will be sweet. All of our armor will have it. It'll be a great time. All right, I've got two books. And let's see here. There we go. Oh, we unlocked some more trades somehow. I'm not too sure how we've done this, but we have. So bam, look at that. Mending and mending there. Um, yeah, so really cool. We have too many books for one one emerald each and we have a lot of villagers up there i think if i put a block on top of the bed they won't be able to see it um so we could shut it off that way but we have we have a lot more villagers than we need right now uh, and they just keep piling in as you can see we've got a few this is a great working system we have our villager breeder our zombification chamber i'm gonna go ahead and pretty this up off camera oh my goodness Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching the video today. We did a lot. Uh, next episode, we're going to get into beautifying this area, really finalizing it. Uh, if you look over there, just over my shoulder, you can see what we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, I already told you that earlier in the video. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.